So, Will, what kind of wine would you bring to someone's house? Like in, in, in the UK, what is considered a great gift wine? Well, I always think as a full sort of full safe um, method, I always take fizz and bubbles mm. because when you arrive there and mm. you pass it, everyone likes it. Well, in, 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 in England. Do you bring it cold? I, I just bring it sort of room temperature. Ah, room temperature. Because you drink everything room <laughs> yeah. temperature. Cellar temperature. Okay. So cellar temperature. Ah, and okay. then you, And of course, you didn't have to spend a fortune. In the UK, right. we've got all these wonderful sparkling wines from New Zealand. So um, you, would, you wouldn't necessarily bring champagne? Or you'd bring no, the, the kind of sparkling wine no. in accordance with the level of hostess yeah. you were anticipating? It, that was appropriate to the occasion. I mean, obviously, I love champagne. Mm -hmm. It'd be Paul Roger or Bollinger or Berkeley. Mm -hmm. But it's not always that. And then, of course, we have our own English sparkling wine now, which That's is right. making enormous inroads. Which, have you had breaky bottom? No, I haven't had. <laughs> <laughs> so an English friend of mine brought that back um, for me. And I did you like it? it? Yeah, I haven't tasted it yet, though, because I know what that name means. It scared me. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got things like um, Night Timber mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Ridgeview, which are really quite good, actually. Mm -hmm. you know, because it, ha it has the same. Soil. Yeah, right. that's the soil that goes right. under the English Channel, right. comes up at sort of in, Right, that uh, yeah. wonderful chalky soil. How about you? I mean, if I was in New York City and I'm mm. going to a dinner party, what mm -hmm. should I bring? What should you bring? Well, you know, I think in a New York dinner party, it's very important that you know as much as possible about the people that you're bringing um, wine to. But I feel like if you don't have any information on them, um, it's, it's probably California Cabernet because I feel like yeah. it's it's safe. And um, if you if you're in the position where your host knows nothing about wine or they don't care about wine and they plan on regifting it after you leave, um, <laughs> you know, a, a good um, and slightly obvious name in California Cabernet would probably be. The, uh, a wine that I bring. But having said that, I mean, I, you already said sparkling wine, so um, that would but be. But there's some good California sparkling wines. You know, there are. There are actually, yeah. you know, Rotor Estate. Yeah. You know, if I was going to bring a sparkling wine, I didn't want to spend a huge amount of money. Yeah. It's about twenty dollars, and Rotor Estate, which is the the Louis Rotor. You know, so it's good house. to go for the home option yeah. because that's interesting. Because in England, there's still this stigma about English sparkling, you know, English wine. Well, with good reason, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I sorry, you're doing a much that. better job than you guys are. You know, I mean, we've got it in all fifty states. Do you have it in every? Do you have it in every county? Is but there, it's quite is nice. there wine made in Wessex? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite nice coming from a minor wine producing country because right. you do have the whole you world. Can only Better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>